Good morning, everyone. It's just about 5 a.m. here, and I'm getting ready to get off work. But before I go, I thought I would uh, share a little story and see if it fits uh, kind of where I'm trying to go with it. Um, so just out of the blue yesterday, I get a friend request, and, you know, I usually accept them, and I thank the person for, you know, sending me a friend request. And soon after, I get a chat. And it's a lady in Italy who I have no idea who she is, no, no friends in common, no nothing. But I used the translator and we had, a, you know, a decent conversation. But at some point, she had come to the conclusion that I was gay. Now, I take no offense to that. But what it stems to, to my point of all of this is it's so easy to get our signals crossed when we don't see from the same cultural view or even speak the same language in a lot of in a lot of cases now this can happen when you live in the same area when you speak the same native tongue when you live in the same society and environment guys we are living on top of each other and yet our worlds apart I had just as much to chat with you know with a woman across the across the world um, sometimes more than what I have to chat with, you know, with my neighbors. And that's unfortunate. But it's easy to see why with a language transa tr uh, translation, um, not really, you know, putting things together or if she didn't fully understand the language, things like that where she might have drawn a conclusion. Now, I didn't say anything remotely sexual or anything, but I don't know how she came to that. And it was kind of hard to get her to you know, even explain that. So again, look at where we're at with everything going on. And it's hard to have people understand sometimes where we're coming from. So rather than just draw conclusions, we have to slow down and ask people to either repeat what they've said, articulate it um, in, a, in a different fashion, but we, we need to get to the bottom of things. So I straightened that out. She understood that I wasn't, you know, I wasn't a gay man. And again, that's not, the, that's not an offensive notion. It's just the point that I wanted to make sure that she knew who she was talking to on all levels, honestly and wholly, full disclosure. And that if there was something that I had done or said to give that impression, I wanted to know what it was. But we got to the bottom of it and continued to have a very nice chat. So again, I say that because we are at a point right now where we speak the same language, live in the same country, see the same things, and somehow are still worlds apart. Guys, we can do so much better. Ask questions. I have told people who have asked me my thoughts on things, and even just when people don't ask and I just blurt my opinion in, self-educate. Self-educate. If topics that are going on right now are important to you, whether it, if, look, if it's the pandemic, then start to learn about things that you can do to improve your chances to not get, to not, not contract it. If it's the, um, the, the protest and what has sparked that, then go back, learn history. Um, and that's what I've really imparted upon a lot of people is the history as to why in my estimation, we are where we're at when it comes to this uh, the societal push um, between certain communities. Um, if you were just going to grout and tile your bathroom floor, you would try to learn about it if you were doing it yourself. So we can't just do things blindly. We do need to be able to get the proper information, study it, be familiar with it, and that way when you go to grout your tile, when you go to have these discussions, when you go to chat with somebody in a whole different country, you are, you know, you're rock solid. It's possible. I know a lot of you are very intelligent people and very driven, so if you want to find something, you will, but we can't just search up things to support our confirmed biases. Aha, I knew that they were like that, and this article says it, only in this line, and I found it. No, nope, read the whole article and find another source, find multiple sources. So this is just my input. Hopefully this finds everybody in a good place, good health and spirits, and um, guys, uh, just be well and keep doing. Um, and in the words of my uh, new Italian friend, ciao, peace, love, unity, solidarity.